Nityanam guys, welcoming you back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Today's video, I want to have a, share a click. Um, Swamiji has been sharing with us in the night satsangs and uh, on that point, inviting you to check out the uh, NTV, Nityananda.tv during the night. Uh, well, it depends where you are in the globe, but uh, basically 7.30ish <clears throat> IST. Um, Indian Standard Time. So I'm just giving live discourses and it's very interesting. Uh, I mean, it's always interesting, but the what Swamiji is sharing nowadays I find is very, uh, very interesting and he's basically helping us to, uh, to change the past and to open the possibility of the future for us, conscious creation. So I think it's very relevant. I mean, it is very relevant for everybody. And um, one click, one thing I, I got and it's also a little bit related to the situation that we are in now, you know, being uh, harassed and abused um, online, the Sangha, Swamiji and the devotees, disciples. And Swamiji has been talking about this dualistic, rationalist logic, racist logic, sorry. He calls that the people the, that he, he basically refers to that dualistic logic, that uh, rationalist logic. Uh, is basically um, used to abuse uh, devotees who seek and disciples who seek the multidimensional logic. So the click I got is basically that rationalist, racist, dualist logic uh, that the humanity is operating from nowadays. Nowadays, this is the only logic which is pretty much available everywhere. Um, it is very rare to see people who operate from a different kind of logic. And uh, the problem is that that dualistic logic is rooted in powerlessness and therefore has a very the inherent kind of violence within it because of the very nature of that logic. And that logic cannot allow us to um, experience our consciousness up to a certain degree. You can only understand a very small portion of your consciousness if you operate from a dualistic uh, what is the rationalist logic? So the click I got is basically these abusers when they come they bring questions forward and they doubts in various ways and then sometimes we feel like you know Swanji was sharing you feel like oh it's an easy question I can answer it and close the whole situation once and for all and the thing is that even if sometimes we can answer the first question then they come with another question another question and it doesn't end. And that's also something I mentioned in previous videos. You have to see the space from which the person is coming from, not just the question itself. Sometimes questions may look harmless, but the space is very harmful. So if you start to engage with the person who is cherishing that space, then you also start to cherish that space within you. Because you're the, the blind spot we have, which is not allowing us to identify that space in the first place, that blind spot becomes very costly for us. And as you move towards a multidimensional logic, you don't want to engage too much with people or abusers who are operating from a dualistic logic. Why? The click I got is that in order to respond to their logic, you have to get into that logic. But the problem is that by default, we are, we are too used to operate from that logic and we are working, we're putting our conscious efforts to move from that dualistic ra rationalist logic to a multi multi-dimensional logic. And if you keep spending your time answering people in the dualistic logic, and when I'm saying, I'm not talking like people who actually want to learn or who are interested in being enriched, but I'm talking about the people who are not interested and they're just bringing doubts forward to just kind of discard you, discredit you, or just um, abuse in various ways. If we get to answer and engage with these people too much, we constantly come back to that dualistic logic because that's the only way we can relate to them. And the problem is that when we do that, then we lose the speed at which we move towards the multidimensional logic. And at some point we might just not make the jump. And uh, that's very unfortunate. If you start to realize in your life that this dualistic logic that we operate from is not fulfilling you, um, it might answer few parts few of you, but it definitely does not fulfill the entire of your consciousness. And this multidimensional logic is very important to answer these various dimensions of 
your consciousness. And relating to gods and goddesses in Hinduism is for that. The very principle of gods and goddesses, the happening of gods and goddesses, is the manifestation of the, of the reality, which is a multidimensional logic. So sometimes, when you start to feel that your dualistic, rationalist logic is not fulfilling you, and you start to make the jump towards multidimensional logic, you are blessed. And you should realize that. And you should hold on to that blessing as much as you can until you fully uh, realize the multidimensional logic as an experience within you and, and, and basically shift the, 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 the experience of your, exi of your consciousness, uh, the space of Paramashivam that Swamiji is bringing us towards. And um, engaging with people who are not in the right space, engaging with them with the dualistic logic is a very bad decision. And uh, like I said, we are already too strongly attached to this dualistic rationalist logic and we are working kind of consciously hard towards uh, working hard towards moving towards the multidimensional logic. So engaging in that is a counter, um, it's kind of counter effort, it goes against the efforts that we make and uh, it should be avoided and it's not needed anyways because they're not interested in the first place. See, it's not about showing that you're right, it's about you having the conscious shift. When you, when, you, when, you, when you have the conscious shift, automatically the very expression of your being will show people that you were right. You don't need to justify intellectually or on a dualistic logic level that you are right. It is, it's meaningless. You have the shift within yourself and you start to radiate the bliss, the ecstasy, the radiance, the powers that happens when you have the conscious shift. And automatically people will realize that you have the shift. And you will not need to spend time and energy in convincing them because you, they, will, they will simply, by seeing you, they will simply realize it. So instead of spending our time, lifetime and energy in convincing people that they're not in the right track um, and that our path is a path which is valuable and it should not be abused, uh, just, you know, intensify, use that lifetime and energy to intensify your, your devotion, your prayerfulness towards um, towards Swamiji so that he can reveal more and more of the secrets of this multidimensional logic to you as an experience so that you can shift out from the dualistic logic completely and experience the bliss of the multidimensional logic, the nonviolence of the multidimensional logic. So uh, yeah, this is a click I got I wanted to share in this video. So tell me if you have any uh, constructive comments, <laughs> uh, you can put them in the description below. Um, inviting you to click the like button, subscribe, and the bell icon as well, so you know whenever I upload. I recently uploaded a video about the Pratikshapada Puja for beginners, uh, basically with the explanations, with the translations of the mantras and the mantras, so I'm inviting you to check it out. It is on the channel, I'll put the link in the description below. And basically that's what it is, Puja is a kind of a Pratikshapada Puja, Guru Puja, also known as Guru Puja, is a space for you to relate to Swamiji so that you can experience the multidimensional logic. And, uh, and yes, yeah, so inviting you to check that. And again, thanking you for watching all the videos on a regular basis. Your support is very much appreciated. And feel free to share your support in the comments below as well. It is always good to hear and see how um, how people are impacted by the different enriching activities that we do. So uh, that being said, I thank you again and I'll see you in the next video. Nityananda.